everyone. I'm finally back in my classroom. It is school holidays. It is like the second last day of school holidays and it's the first time I've been into school, which is a good thing, except I've got a lot of work to do today now. So I thought I'd take you through it for a little YouTube vid. So make sure you like and subscribe and do all the things so that you get kept up to date. But hopefully I can start to get some more videos happening. It's been a crazy start to the year. Um, but I'm excited for term two. We've got a lot of really cool topics happening. Um, so we're doing chemical science with the kids. We're doing measurement with maths. Um, and we're just building up on the preppies writing skills. So I am in here today to sort of transfer in the transform the classroom a little bit and see what I can come up with as far as the walls go and rearranging the tables and all of that sort of stuff. Um, unfortunately, the classroom hasn't been cleaned yet. Fingers crossed that's happening over the weekend so that um, we're good to go for next week um, but because of that it doesn't it's not gonna look its best but we're gonna do our best so I'm going to change the walls over here and then um, probably just do a bit of tidying up rearrange the tables a little bit and then we'll be good to go so I'll take you through what I'm thinking I'm a little bit a little unsure but I'll take you through what I'm thinking and then um, keep you updated on my progress throughout the day so towards the end of last term, I took all the kids' work down off the walls. I loved that. They helped me sort it all out and group it up. And they took some home and they left some for their special journals. So now I need to redo the wall. So I'm really finding it hard to part with my tree. So I'm going to try and find a way to keep it in, in the term somehow. I'm not really sure yet, but we'll get there. And then I'm actually thinking that I will leave the tablecloth backgrounds up because they're still in pretty good nick. And as soon as we put work all over them, like you can't even see the little like, like little bits like that. But then I need to take all these streamers down because they've like had their day. They've had their moment. So we need some new borders. And then I'm thinking I will dedicate like this panel here to science and then like a panel here or at least a big chunk to measurement and then um, I'm thinking this one I will leave for like sound work and like work that we do that's in um, connection with our sounds and also things like we have athletics day coming up and stuff like that so I feel like the kids will have lots of work that we can showcase and then over here, I'm going to leave the Komochi wall up. And I do promise, I promise every time I make a video that I'm going to make a video about the Komochi program and I haven't done it yet, but I do promise it's, it's going to happen. It will. But we use the Komochi program for social emotional learning. And so I feel like being that it's only term two of prep, it's still okay to you to have this wall up because we're still going to be using the Komochi so often. And we're going to go through the lessons now that we've met. We, We've met all the Komochis, but we haven't started the lesson. So I feel like I'm just going to leave that. And the prep expected behavior is still so important. Oh, my goodness. So I think it's just this back wall and then, like, a little bit of tidying up, change the tables around, give it a new shape. Um, and then I've got some issues where my storeroom is, like, too full. And so I've got, like, things on the floor, and that is really not my vibe. You know me, this is not my vibe. So I need to do some, oh my gosh. I need to do some rearranging in here um, to sort of make it A, more functional and B, way more tidy and like finish the labels and everything because this is kind of killing me. So that might be on the agenda for today. But this wall is priority. So I'm going to keep you updated on how I go with the wall. So I'm just cutting out a new heading for our measurement unit. So what we're going to do this term is start measurement with length and um, using informal units. So in prep or kindergarten, we obviously don't use, um, you know, centimeters or anything like that. So we're just measuring using informal units. So my hand span is 10 paper clips long or whatever like that. So we're going to start with that and then we're going to move into time. So days of the week and then into o'clock time. 
Um, so that's kind of our term. So what I'm thinking is I'll put this measurement heading up on the wall there and then I'm going to create some like rulers and things like that just for the outsides and then we'll put the kids work up there pretty quickly. Um, but I thought I would explain in case I know a few people have commented saying that they're not that watch say that they're not from Australia and I'm not sure that other um, countries have the same layout of the year as us so I thought I would explain what I mean by a term. So we have four terms in a year in Australia so the first term is like from the end of January basically February March and the start of April so first term was 10 weeks and then we get a two-week holiday and then we're going into term two term two is nine weeks this year which isn't normal normally it's longer but for some reason it's nine weeks to do with Easter and all the things and so nine weeks of term will take us to like the end of June and then we get a two-week holiday again then we do term three which is another 10-week term so it's like end of July, August, September and then we have school holidays for two weeks and then we do fourth term which I think this year is 11 weeks and then that takes us through to like close to Christmas and then at Christmas time we get like five weeks of holidays depending on the system that you're in. High school kids get way longer, lucky them, but we get about five, five and a bit weeks I think it is of holidays. So we have four terms in the year. Um, and sort of two week blocks of holidays in between. And I know it's like super different in all the other countries. So yeah, we are getting ready for term two. So in term two, we're doing chemical science and measurement um, as parts of our topics. And then we've got some other things happening as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm preparing the wall for. So, sorry about the awkward lighting here, but this is where I set um, it up. Pretty impressed with myself. I got this cute as clip art from Whimsy Clips. That's where I use get all my clip art from. I just love their um, style and I love all my clip arts to be consistent. And what I did was I printed it on like separate pieces of paper so that it could be bigger. Ideally, it would have been bigger than this, but it's still cute. So but then what you do is you just go ahead and like kind of trim off the sides and then glue it or I'm just going to staple gun it straight up like this and then you she'll be big and then I'm going to pop her on the wall there I've got measurement up the top and I've sort of made a little ruler there and then I'm going to add the girl she's got a tape measure and then I've got some snap cubes and some paper clips to pop up as well for informal units okay so i've finished the measurement wall i'm going to show you that in a second and i'm getting ready to start my science wall however i only have one hour left until i have to leave which is just so annoying because it means i'm gonna to have to come back before school starts back next tuesday but it's okay because i've made significant progress and i have directions so i know what i'm doing so i'm going to flip you around and show you what i did for measurement and also um show you what i'm thinking i'm going to do for science Check this out. I've made the biggest mess in here since I got here. But so worth. Look at the measurement wall. So we've just got measurement up the top. We've got a ruler, some measurement words, you know, how long, how tall, etc. And so I've just put um, informal units here and here. And then we've got, of course, got the ruler and the um, tape measure kind of thing as well. So it's looking good. And then I'm going to get into science. So I'm thinking something like this because we're doing chemical science and I found this big white paper in my um, storeroom. So I'm going to try and use that. Okay. So I have made some good progress on the science wall. I've made a, whatever these are called. Is it a beaker? I think it's a beaker. <laughs> And I'm going to like stick these like circles coming out of it like it's bubbling up. So I'm thinking I'll stick that like down here. And then I had this cool idea that I would like put a test tube on this side, like here. And that it would be like spilling out the heading of science or something. So I'm going to try and do that now. I have like 40 minutes until I have to leave or 30 minutes until I have to leave. If I could get that done, I'd be stoked. And I also need to clean up this hot mess of a classroom that I've created since I've been here. But if I can get this done and get the beaker up, I will be a happy teacher. So I'm going to try and get that done now. I will take you along for the ride.
Okay, so I've drawn up my test tube and just in grey lead first. I'm going to cover it in the fluoro green colour that I want to use for the spill. And then um, I'll do the outline and add some lines like I did on the pink one, like the measurement lines. So I'm thinking I just need to find my green paper. It needs to like look like it's tipping. So I'm going to have it this way. So I want the green paper to like go on a diagonal like that to look like it's tipping out. So I've just got like A3 fluoro green and I'm kind of going to stick it on and like cut it out and then cut it to the shape that I want um, and then go from there. So fingers crossed it's going to look good. I'll try and move you down here so you can see the process. But now my head's cut off, but you get the idea. Oh, that might be a bit better. Oop. Okay. Okay, so I have my scientist's heading and what I'm going to do is get some more letters that say we are all scientists because that's sort of the um, angle we're going with. What I'm going to do now is sort of cut around it so it's like a little bit lumpy so it looks like kind of slime I guess that's come out of the test tube and then hopefully stick it up here and I have like 10 minutes till I have to leave so I need to hurry. Okay, so now it's got the bumpy edge and I'm going to try and get it up here by myself which is going to be a bit of a challenge but let's see how i go okay i got it up so it'll look so much better when it says we are all and then scientists and then we've got the beaker down the bottom here and our measurement wall i'm so happy with it i'm so excited to get the kids work up on it too i really need to clean up this mess because i have to leave but i will catch up with you guys next time i'm in which is in a couple of days time we're going to finish this wall rearrange and do a bit of organizing Woo! Hi everyone, I'm back in my classroom. It is Monday and we go back to school tomorrow after the school term holidays. So I'm back and I'm just setting up and doing a few things so I thought I'd take you through what I'm doing. I've created a little list on the whiteboard over there of all the things I need to get done. Um, so I'm going to finish the science board which I showed you the other day. I'm just going to get that finished. I'm going to change that pink tablecloth colour down there to a different colour. I'm going to organise my reader tubs for the kids so they've got new books in them. Um, change up the levels for a couple of kids as well um, and then I'm going to work on the tree and give that a heading um, what else am I going to do I'm going to do a little bit of tidying up try to get this stuff into the storeroom so that this bench is clear as we go into the term um, and then I'm going to start to get set up for the next few days. I have a student teacher starting tomorrow which is really exciting so I'm looking forward to meeting her in the morning and sort of showing her around the room and what we're going to be doing and everything um, and tomorrow we actually have a planning day so my kids are off with their specialist teachers and I will meet with my team for the day to plan for this term so um, I'm looking forward to that as well. So I'll take you along for the ride today on all the things I'm getting done and um, yeah have fun. Okay, so the scientist wall is complete. I just finished off that border down there that had ripped off. Added the we are all because we're taking the approach that you don't need to be the stereotypical person in a lab coat, really smart, etc. To be a scientist, we're going with the angle that we're all scientists because we all observe, we all ask questions, all inquirers, we're all curious, inquisitive. Um, so yeah, that's the angle I've gone with and I've got my little test tube and I think this is called a beaker. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to change this pink tablecloth now because that pink and that pink, that's a no go. They cannot go together. <laughs> so I'm going to change this pink one over and work out what I want to do with the tree. I really don't want to part with the tree, but I'm still not hundred percent sure what I'm going to do with it yet. So watch this space. Stay tuned and we'll see what I come up with. By the way... If you don't own one of these things, 
<laughs> okay, there we go. Oop. If you don't own one of these things and you have a staple gun, like you have a carpeted wall like I do, get one. They help you pluck out the staples out of the wall. And honestly, it saved so many nails in my time. Okay, so I'm being very brave. I'm trying <laughs> to staple this grass to the wall and I think I'm gonna make the tree into a growth mindset tree because we're gonna start that this term with the preps. So I had this grass in the cupboard already. The staples really aren't deep enough, but I'm thinking I might just like tack it up there for now with the staples and then bring in my like industrial <laughs> staple gun, smash it into the wall. So I just need to cut off the bottom and then I'll do all of this grass and then I'll do a heading up the top that says like growing our minds or something like that. And then we've got some little icons and work that we're doing with the preps this week that I can put up straight away. So I think I'll make the tree, keep the tree and make it into a growth mindset tree. Yay. So I've cut the bottom off and it fits beautifully. So now I've got to get the other piece and put it here and it's going to need cutting at the bottom and on the side, but I think it's gonna look super cute. Let me move back. And it should be like that. And then we'll have growing our minds at the top and the grass down the bottom. Yay, so cute. Okay, so <laughs> pardon my friend, air purifier here. Go COVID, love my life. So I have just finished cutting out some lettering for the growing our minds wall. So I've gone with yellow because I actually added some orange flower leaf type things to the tree because in Australia it is currently autumn or fall. So I've gone with orange leaves on the tree and I've got a yellow heading to put up that just says growing our minds. I'm going to pop that up now and then do some cleaning up for tomorrow. Yay! So we have growing our minds and how cool is this? Some of these lights, I've got it hidden under here. Even light up. Oh, you can't really see it. Damn. All right, let me try to turn the lights off. Oh, pretty. Yay, okay. So happy with the back wall now. Obviously, let's get rid of this step ladder but look at this back wall so good I'm gonna leave this one here for sound work and then we've got the empty one up the front and I think I'll start that one with um, athletic stay and the different things that we have going on so the room is looking so good now I just need to clean up particularly over here and we are ready for tomorrow. Yay. I'm so happy. Okay, so I've cleaned the bench, but I definitely have not ticked off enough things, but I have to go. So I'm just gonna leave the list up for the morning. I like to come in nice and early on the first day anyway, so hopefully I can get it all done. Um, but I'm so stoked with the wall, so that's a really good um, achievement. And I'm hoping tomorrow morning before the kids come in to rearrange the tables. It's just hard because I don't have them tomorrow. So if I rearrange the tables, they won't know where they're sitting. But that's okay. They'll be able to find their spot in the morning. Um, so, yeah, I think I'm done. I'm set up for term two. We're going to um, have a great term. 
with our different projects that we're working on. I really want to focus this term on the preps thinking for themselves and asking great questions and doing all of that. So I'm super excited. I hope this video has helped you, given you a bit of insight into how I set up the classroom for the term. I'll do another video with some more of my planning and things like that soon. Thanks for coming along with me on this little journey. It's probably only a shorter vlog of what I'm kind of getting up to to set up the classroom, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will get into some planning videos and also um, some of the content that we teach. So please let me know if you'd like to see anything in particular. Thanks, like, subscribe, follow, blah, blah, blah. Um, check me out on TPT, Instagram, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.